Hi, my name is Abit Sarkar and this is my video for my application for the Davidson Scholarship. In this composition portfolio, I'm including three pieces that I've written over the past few years. Polarity for String Quartet, Pour V for Orchestra, and From Voices for String Quartet and Tape. The reasons that I had for composing each of these pieces is quite different, but they all sort of fall under the unifying idea of identity. As a first generation Indian American, the notion of identity definitely plays a huge role in my life. As the child of immigrants, it can often be difficult to reconcile all the different parts of my identity, which of course the two most part two most important parts of my identity include being Indian and American, but often it can feel like it's difficult to fit into either label or category. So I really wanted to explore these feelings in my music. In Polarity, I sort of explored this concept in a very abstract way. The concept of polarity is to have two movements which are completely opposite of each other. Uh, you have the first movement, which is very aggressive and energetic, whereas the second movement, a chaconne, is quite distant and forlorn. My idea behind having um, the musical structure being organized this way was to communicate this fundamental idea of polarity. These two movements feel like they're antitheses of each other almost. But there are certain unifying elements in the piece, motifs such as the tritone and certain rhythmical figures that reappear throughout the 10 minute piece that make it a coherent whole. What I sought to represent by presenting the piece like this was that even though we have many different, sometimes opposing and conflicting parts of our identity, our experiences are whole, they're complete. And with these motifs, these ideas, such as the tritone in the piece, we become complete wholes, that our identities are complete despite their many different parts. In Purvi, the idea was a little bit more explicit. Um, I was hoping to explore my Indian heritage, but in the context of Western classical music. I had been listening to a lot of ragas and the sounds of the sitar, which is an Indian string instrument, and the bashiri, the Indian flute, are timbres that I really wanted to evoke in my own piece. But I decided not to include the instruments, but rather only their sounds or mimicry of their sounds in the piece, so as to make it perhaps a little bit more accessible for an audience over here. And so my idea behind this piece was that by presenting these Indian themes and motifs in the context of Western classical music, I could show to the audience that my identity is composed of these many different parts. As an immigrant living in the United States, of course, Western classical music seemed to be the right choice for the medium that I presented these ideas, but I of course also wanted to remain true to my Indian heritage, which is why I chose to include um, these themes and ragas. The name of the piece itself, Purvi, is a very old and rarely performed raga, and I chose this raga because I wanted to maintain this connection to my Indian identity and culture. In From Voices, I would say that the discussion of polarized identity is perhaps the most explicit. I wrote the piece when I found out that I would be organizing a benefit concert for refugees living in the Boston area, which just took place this past January. And so I, over the summer, went and conducted all of these interviews with refugees and um, immigrants living in the Boston area. And one theme that I kept detecting in their narratives and stories was this idea of not fitting in anywhere. That they came to the United States hoping for a sense of being American, fitting in. But oftentimes it can be difficult because of their identity as refugees or immigrants. I wanted to capture this experience in my piece which I did by including clips of these interviews interspersed throughout the music of the string quartet. I would say that um, the significance of this theme of identity is that in today's political situation and today's climate, it is very difficult to maintain a sense of 
keeping with one's identity. The debate over identity has become very controversial and it can be, like I said, very hard to maintain a link to what one feels is one's identity. But I hope that by discussing these prominent issues and by portraying them in my music, it would sort of be one step towards a kind of remedy to this issue, that it would promote discussion and promote awareness of these marginalized identities. The reason why I became interested in pursuing this project is because, um, well, for one, I had been listening to a lot of Indian classical music, which definitely informed the language that I adopt in both From Voices and Purvi, but also more generally, I had been reading a lot of literature a lot of poetry by Asian American writers such as Jhumpa Lahiri, who does such a beautiful job of evoking her Indian identity, but of course in the context of American society. I wanted to sort of parallel that in my music where I take these different elements and combine them in a sort of metaphor for the way that identities are constructed when they're made up of all of these different diverse but beautiful on their own and together. Parts. And so the way that the project evolved was quite organic, I would say. Um, in polarity, I took a very abstract approach to the topic. Um, I didn't really want to explicitly discuss the topic of identity, but rather use my metaphor, my, use my uh, use my music as a symbol for um, this theme. But as I progressed with Purvi, I of course very openly use these Indian themes and motifs. And by the time I was writing From Voices, I decided that I really wanted to make this a very open and honest discussion of this a very controversial theme of identity, particularly when it applies to people such as refugees and immigrants. And I'm very happy with the way that my music has progressed in that sense, from becoming very sort of subtle and understated to becoming quite overt and very openly discussing these issues in the hopes that the audience will sort of respond to that discussion with an equally open and honest conversation about the issues discussed and presented in the piece. I was inspired by um, various sources when I was pursuing this project. I think that in polarity, the influences from Bartok and Stravinsky are quite apparent. But I sort of tried to fuse those with my own musical imagination in the hopes of creating my own voice, even in a small sense. In Purvi, I sort of took the same approach. I combined existing musical traditions, the Western canon and Indian classical music, but in fusing them, I hoped that there would be some sense of a original idiom. For From Voices, I think that I was inspired again by many pre-existing traditions, but even the concept of overlaying the tape that showed um, or that presented the voices of refugees and immigrants, I hope that that would provide a new and fresh insight that perhaps I wouldn't have if I had not included those tapes. Definitely this project and pursuing this project has allowed me to develop my talents in many different ways. Like I just said, my compositional style has evolved enormously, and I'm very happy with the way that I've been finding inspiration and in the way that my style has been continuously changing, evolving, and developing in a direction that I'm very happy with. In the larger context of composition, I think that my work could be applied in a variety of different ways. Like I mentioned, my piece from Voices was performed at a benefit concert that I organized. And this concert raised um, funds for the Boston Center for Refugee Health and Human Rights, which is a refugee health center located in my hometown. And so I think that by using music to build social awareness and by bringing light to these important topics, I can use my music in some way for the greater good, even if it's in a very small manner. I think that at the end of the day, the purpose of art is to give a voice to those who haven't necessarily had a voice, which I definitely think is the reason why I've chosen identity to be the central theme in many of my pieces. I hope to continue uh, composing music in this fashion, continuously develop developing my art because there is definitely a lot of room to improve, but continuing to take this approach of social justice and building awareness and most of all, 
um, fostering open and honest conversations about the issues that we most need to speak about. Thank you so much.